our temperature blanket kit for 2017. It comes with 18 balls of yarn, all fabulous colors, all fabulous colors, um, which can be seen in this nice color wheel that we have, as you can see. So how, what is a temperature blanket? A temperature blanket is a blanket that you make using an assigned color of yarn depending on the high temperature of the day. So you'll do one row of single crochet on your blanket every day, quote unquote, corresponding to the color of that temperature. Now you can just keep a little note of what your temperature was for that day and then maybe once a week or twice a month or whenever take out your temperature blanket and get caught up or you can do it every day whatever fits your schedule. We have made our color yarn selection for Nairobi and because we don't have much of a what do you call it temperature difference uh, it goes, we have 18 degrees basically that changes possibly between 15 degrees Celsius in our cold winter to maybe 30, 32 in our hot summer. So we have picked 18 colors and we've assigned one degree Celsius to each color of yarn. So that's how we decided to do it. Now if you're in North America or Europe or anywhere else, uh, you check your local temperature, you check your high temperature range for the year. So if it goes from like minus 10 Celsius to plus 25, you would divide that number, the degrees that it changes, by how many yarns you want to use or how many colors of yarn you want to use. So, and so you could have like five degrees per color or three degrees per color, um, like that. So you would have, um, so if it was maybe 20 to 25, it would be green. And then 26 to 30, it would be lighter green or something like that. It's totally up to you how, to, how you want to pick it and how you want to work it out. But now is a totally good time to do it because we are starting January 1st. And as we all know, it's pretty much Christmas Eve. So that gives us about a week to get ourselves pulled together and ready to start a temperature blanket. So how we have done it in our kit, um, we, I mean, I... We, I uh, put a temperature range at the bottom. So from Nairobi, it goes from 15 degrees to 32 degrees. You can do whatever temperatures fit for your location. And then I just perforated a spot so we can put the yarn, the corresponding yarn for the temperature in that spot, which I have done on this one. So, what I did is because generally it's 25 to 28 degrees, probably about 27, 26 is probably the average temperature. So, and these are my favorite colors from our color wheel. So I just picked those to, to put in our most common temperature range or our most common temperature. And then I went up and down from there. Yeah, my kids are home. So... Um, and then you just loop it through each color so that you know that say 25 degrees is like the light turquoise and 31 is the electric green and I kind of had to adjust it a little bit so that the, they ended and started appropriately because I had mine like how I wanted it to be my this kind of soft butter yellow was right next to the electric lime and it looked odd like it looked odd that these two were separated like it wouldn't mean a low temperature and a high temperature because they're so similar so I had to move everything up a little bit so I'd have a definite break of low temperature to high temperature so just play around get them all lined up how you want to do it put them through to your assigned temperature Wow, they're loud. Um, and then a really good thing is this chart from Crochet Crowd. I'll put a link to it in my in the description below. They have, or he has made this great chart. So it shows you, uh, you can pick what size blanket you want to make, and then what size hook you want to use, and if you want to put a drape on your blanket or not. And drape means 
uh, like in hanging down over the edge. So if you wanted a twin size blanket, you could make a twin size blanket just on the top of your mattress or a twin size blanket with a drape, which means hanging over the edges slightly on all sides or three sides. So, and he, then he has the chains that you need, the, the, the number of chains you need to start depending on the size hook you want to use and the size blanket you want to make. So like this is so fantastic. It's like, it's perfect. So thank you very much for making that crochet crowd. It's excellent. Uh, so that's included in our kit, but there's also a link where you can download it and check out his work yourself. I'll put it in the description. So to start your temperature blanket, we're going to be doing that on starting January 1st. Uh, if you're not around January 1st or you want to start sooner, you basically pick the number of chains that you want to make going by this chart and chain and then do one row of single crochet per day based on the high temperature. Another thing to do is to really be strict with yourself about the actual temperature and we're saying we're going to use the high temperature of each day so you can pick one website and just check the high temperature or you can use a, therm uh, a thermometer at home and check it at a certain time of day. It, that's really up to you whatever you want to do but try to be a bit firm on yourself for your color selection because we can kind of be a bit like oh it was 25 and a half and I really don't like the color for 26 so I'm going to use a color for 24. You know like you can kind of you know, mess it up by just picking a color that you like opposed to the color that it actually should be. And really try to use the color that it should be because that is what makes your blanket so spectacular. If we didn't, um, like if we just picked three colors and made the blanket, it's the same as any other afghan. So the difference of a temperature blanket and why they're so fantastic to make is is the color selection. You don't choose the color. So try not to choose the color. Try to really go by the rules, try to really stick to it. Um, and you'll have a really fantastic blanket for at the end of New Year's Eve of 2017. So that'll be fantastic. So our, we'll be starting together on January 1st. If you're around, check out the tutorial. I'll have it up midday in Nairobi. I'm just going to guess on the temperature that day. Well, not guess, but I'm going to pretend that the temperature at noon is the temperature, the high temperature of the day, or whatever they calculate it to be. So it should be pretty close. Just so I can have the tutorial up, we can start together. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you need a kit, leave it at love. Contact me. I'm here to help. Happy to help. You can pick your hook size. Totally flexible. And I can't wait. Stay hooked.